Jose and Kellyanne are so thankful to all of you for being here to share the love and joy they have found in each other and to celebrate their wedding day. If you have not already done so, I ask you to please silence all phones and electronic mm -hmm. devices so we can focus on Kellyanne and Jose. What a perfect day for promises. As summer gives way to fall, the mountains will soon transition to the golden aspens of autumn, and we will all be drawing closer to each other for warmth. And what a perfect place for love to be declared, among their family and friends, and on the brink of the mountains of all that is beautiful, adventurous, and enduring in Colorado. Your presence is such a gift to our bride and groom and brings us into this moment we have each set aside to honor their union in marriage. I ask you to please turn now from where you are seated, stay seated a little bit longer, and welcome the wedding party.
Before you say your vows to each other, let's pause to honor the people who have bestowed their care and guidance on you both and help you become the two people who stand here today. An ancient proverb tells us that people who lack the knowledge of their past are like a tree without roots. Jose and Kellyanne are grateful to their roots, thankful to their family and friends for being their nourishing foundation through all the years leading to this moment, sustaining their efforts to become the people we see today. You have been the people they have called upon at the significant junctures in their lives. You have been the example they hope to follow. The fact that you are here today means the world to them. Combining all the years of married life among their foreparents and their grandparents, Jose and Kellyanne have observed 128 years of married life. So much wisdom to draw upon. Kellyanne and Jose are so grateful for the example set by their parents and by their grandparents as well. All four parents are here. Diane and Jim, Kellyanne's mother and father, and Stella Maris and Jose Roberto, Jose's parents. Both of Jose's grandmothers are here, Nancy and Regina and Kellyanne's grandmother, Anne. Her grandparents, Hazel and Greg, are unfortunately not able to be here, but we know they are cheering us on. Not every couple, as a matter of fact, you, are so fortunate to have living grandparents, let alone grandparents, at their wedding. This is, I think, a new record for me. Mm -hmm. It's delightful, a delightful record. Welcome. Thank you for all you have meant to our couple and those of you who could come today. Bless you for being here. Those grandparents who have passed away, Johannes, Jose, and Thayer, are also sure watching over these proceedings from heaven and smiling on this day because those who have loved us are truly a part of us forever. Jose and Kellyanne are deeply grateful for the gifts their closest family have bestowed on their lives. 
Both Jose and Kellyanne are also thankful to have so many extended family and friends here. I understand that about half the people gathered today are from outside Colorado, including many that have traveled here all the way from Brazil. I must say, welcome to the Rocky Mountains of North America. <laughs> Jose and Kellyanne are particularly grateful to all who have traveled to be here, from wherever you have traveled, to witness the first steps in their marriage. All of you here today are truly Jose and Kellyanne's valued network of affirmation and encouragement. Thank you for standing by our bride and groom for all those days and years leading up to today, and I'm sure that will continue in your life going forward. One of the joys in joining couples in marriage is in getting to know their unique love story. To listen to a couple's story on their wedding day is a simple, but a very profound gift of respect for what has preceded this day and for the new life that they are beginning. So it's my joy to share Jose's and Kellyanne's love story with you. And I want you to go through the face of it so you can see their reaction. <laughs> They met in May of 2014, soon after their first year of law school at different schools. Although she was in school in Indiana, and he, here in Colorado, a few years older, they were both in an internship program working for judges at El Paso County Courthouse in Colorado Springs. At the beginning of the internship, all 11 interns were tossed into the same conference room together to meet each other. It wasn't long before Kellyanne and Jose started dating. Kellyanne recalled that they were watching the World Cup. I heard that. I thought, well, of course a man from Brazil would be a new soccer <laughs> And that's when he asked for her phone number. All summer long, they realized that they would soon be separated as each returned to their school. But two days before she left for Indiana, Jose said, let's talk. He wanted them to consider... <laughs> he wanted them to consider where this relationship was going because he didn't want to lose her. He was willing to try a long-distance relationship. And when they talked, he found that Kellyanne was willing to give that a try, too. For a year, they Skyped twice each week and flew between Indiana and Colorado to see each other. After that, having finished two years of law school, they began a second internship back at the El Paso County Courthouse. Moving in together that summer was a major decision for each of them and a big move forward in their relationship. And then Jose asked Kellyanne if she would transfer to law school in Colorado for her third year. She did. That fall, she began studies at the University of Denver. They shared an apartment in Denver that year and graduated in May of 2016. By the time they were together in Denver, both of them knew this relationship was the key. Around this time, though, they mentioned getting married, and both of them had that in mind. But first, over the next two years, they focused on getting settled into their careers and getting their lives to set. Now, I particularly enjoy hearing a couple's proposal story. What's unusual about Jose and Kellyanne's proposal story is that both sets of parents were involved and were successful at keeping the bride-to-be completely in the dark. It was June of 2018. Jose started planning a trip for the two of them to travel with all four parents to San Diego. The trip was to be over Labor Day weekend. Their parents had met each other many times before. But once he got all of them on board for the trip, Jose took Kellyanne's mother aside and told her that she had an additional reason to be sure to take this trip because Jose was planning on proposing to the father. Kellyanne's mother, Diane, got very excited. And once the parents knew the plan, they managed to keep the secret. They all met at Coronado Island, outside San Diego. The next day on September 1st, 
they decided they would go for a walk on the beach. Near the famous Del Coronado Hotel on the beach on some rocks, and Jose guided his little entourage over there so he could have some privacy. Of course, the parents knew what was about to happen and positioned themselves perfectly for the photo opportunity that was about to occur. <laughs> Jose got down in one knee and he acknowledged to Kellyanne that they both had wanted this moment for a long time. He said that she had always been and would always be his adventure partner. Well, I guess she accepted the proposal because we're all here. He said yes, of course. And when they got home, they immediately started planning this wedding that we're all enjoying today. Kellyanne said yes, because she loves and admires Jose. She says he's a very hard, he's very hard working, but never takes anything too seriously. He has made her calmer, more optimistic, more patient and carefree, because he is calm, optimistic, patient, and spontaneous. He balances her. She appreciates how thoughtful he is and that he also views his decision to wipe out and affect the two of them as a team. He tells her every day that he loves her and that she's beautiful, and she appreciates that he also thanks her for cooking and for anything else she does for him to do. And she loves his sense of adventure. Jose loves and admires Kellyanne, especially for how thoughtful she is. He says she has a way of empathizing with people and being selfless that inspires him to be a better man. He loves that she always puts their relationship first and is very caring. She has taught him to be better in that regard. He also loves that she is a very intelligent and strong person. Like his mother, <laughs> she can stand on her own two feet. <laughs> And he really likes that, Mom. <laughs> he appreciates that she is a good cook and thanks her for preparing his lunch and for her other kindnesses to him. And he loves that she is a gorgeous woman who enjoys joining him on adventures. Jose and Kellyanne have been a couple for a few years now, but they know, and as any married couple here can attest, Marriage is a new adventure, and they're ready for that. They want to travel the world, raise a family, enjoy life, and they are confident and grateful that they have found the person to share that adventure with. Jose and Kellyanne, you don't know every step of the road ahead, but you know who will be at your side, and that will make all the difference. You have said that your hopes for marriage include being happy and fulfilled as a couple and successful in your careers in a way that allows the two of you to spend a lot of time together. You hope to have children which will change and expand your lives in so many ways and bond the two of you even more closely. May it be so. We all want your marriage to be all that it can be so that you grow as individuals and as a united and happy family, we can work for the potential in life. Kellyanne and Jose today is a threshold. We begin a new relationship, a voluntary and full commitment, creating a legal union made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and entered into with the desire, hope, and firm intention that this relationship will last for life. Everyone who has gathered here knows, knows and loves you and we all rejoice in witnessing the promises we make to each other. So let this be the statement of your intention to all who have gathered today to affirm you. Here you embrace Kellyanne as your wife, as your companion and best friend for life, who will treat her with love and devotion, honor and respect. Will you stand by her in the triumphs and tragedies of life? as a faithful and caring husband. And Kellyanne, will you embrace Jose as your husband, as your companion and best friend for life? Will you treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by him in the triumphs and tragedies of life as a faithful and caring wife? 
Melanie and Alejandro and I have the ring to Jose and Kellyanne, the words you're about to say are a promise to each other. As you live these vows over the years, investing your time, love, and commitment, your lives will entwine and become inseparable, and your marriage will be a source of strength and beauty through all of life's seasons. These rings are symbols of the circle of love that has brought you to this day and unites your lives to the future. Kellyanne, please place the ring on Jose's hand. And then we'll have you say to God. I, Kellyanne Brown, thank you, Jose Caetano to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for love and to care, from this day forward and from death to this day. Will they please place him in Antonia and Tim and say your vows to her? Take a moment to absorb all the love and joy surrounding you right now. I have a question for all of you who have been called upon to witness this wedding. As they begin this new stage in their lives as husband and wife, Kellyanne and Jose will need you to stand by them, offering your love and support. So if you agree when I ask the following question, please joyfully reply, we do. I ask. Do all those gathered here affirm this marriage, give it your loving blessing, and promise your love and support. We, we do. do.